here I am going to explain blood supply to the colon the blood supply to the colon which mainly by the superior mesenteric and inferior mesenteric artery superior mesenteric artery arises from the abdominal aorta at the level of L1 and inferior mesenteric artery arises from the abdominal aorta at the level of L3 both are anterior branches both are unpaired arteries this is the second unpaired artery superior mesenteric artery and the th third unpaired artery is inferior mesenteric artery first unpaired artery is a celiac trunk which is not drawn here the superior mesenteric artery divides into three branches middle colic right colic iliac colic branches the middle colic divides into right and left branches right colic ascending and descending branches iliac colic divides into multiple branches which gives us the anterior sickle posterior sickle and appendicular arteries or appendicular artery may arise from the posterior sickle artery uh, and it gives us to multiple branches to the ileum okay and uh, left colic artery uh, uh, arises from the inferior mesenteric artery which is the main branch of the inferior mesenteric artery and there are other branches which arise from the inferior mesenteric artery there are sigmoid branches sigmoid colon branches and branches to the rectal branches to the rectum and uh, br uh, ascending branch of the uh, left colic and the left branch of the middle colic and right branch of the middle colic ascending branch of the right colic descending branch of the right colic iliac colic and sigmoid branches all together forms a marginal artery near to the colon near to the colon which is called marginal artery the, which is named as a marginal artery of Drummond there can be inner arcade of uh, artery inner arcade of arteries which uh, connects the middle colic to the left colic the middle colic is a branch of uh, superior mesenteric artery left colic is a branch of uh, inferior mesenteric artery both can be connected with this artery this is called arc of Riolin.